For Steven Crowder staffers exit show after interrogations and, quote, insane NDAs. What's happening now? Steven Crowder sent draconian non-disclosure agreements to his staff with a $100,000 breach of contract penalty after Mediaite reported on $100,000 breach of contract penalty? Jesus. That would get challenged in court. That's a lot. NDAs get challenged pretty often. 100000 is insane. Mediaite reported on allegations of bullying, inappropriate drug use, and lewd sexual workplace misconduct. The lewd sexual workplace misconduct, to be clear, was he would send dick pics to staff members and whip out his cock in person at, like, a bunch of his employees, according to them, so often that they got desensitized to it. Yes, Holocure. Two hours after Mediaite published a follow-up report detailing... Oh, then link it, Zoth. Detailing an internal staff... Oh, is this the follow-up report? Is this what you're referring to? Steven Crowder cracks down on staff after toxic workplace allegations. They received text messages from their employer, which were reviewed by Mediaite, from current staffers telling them they were no longer allowed to communicate or associate with each other. For four ex-staffers. I don't think you can do that. One outright said they could no longer associate with me or else they would be fired. I could tell they were scared. I'm pretty positive that this is uh, com completely illegal and unenforceable in court. Another ex-staffer said they were on the receiving end of a current Crowder employee's text message breaking off their friendship after the internal staff meeting. Quote, an employee friend of mine texted me saying they can no longer associate with me, but that it's nothing personal. I asked why, and they said they couldn't tell me, but that it's something with work and they could get in serious trouble. No, you can't. You are not legal. This is conservative staffers for Steven Crowder, so of course they don't know anything about workers' rights. Um, no, actually, you cannot, you're, 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 you cannot be fired for associating with somebody off of work time. That is not how that works. And now after that, four Steven Crowder staffers have exited the show. Ha! In the breach of contract agreement, look at this. Quote, I hereby acknowledge that said damages are reasonable. Oh my god. They're trying to get around the unreasonability of the NDAs by having part of the signing be, oh, yeah, I'm I'm consenting to how reasonable this NDA is. <laughs> yeah, that'll get you around the court. Do not constitute a penalty, and I further agree that I will not contest the reasonableness of said liquidated damage. By signing this NDA, I am agreeing that this is totally reasonable and I will never change my mind in the future and it is definitely going to hold up in court that I'm signing a document prohibiting me from changing my mind in the future. The, the, again, like, this is unenforceable. Like, a court would not. Like, it's, it's meaningless. The fact that they drafted this up, this is pure fear tactics. They're trying to scare these people into silence, but it's not legally enforceable. The $100,000 penalty is literally just like, oh, that'll scare them out of talking, you know? It, 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 it's not something they can actually be held to. Steven was livid, a source close to the Rumble host told Mediaite. Rumble host. Rumble host. DinoSmash69 just linked some analytics for Steven Crowder's new Rumble career. Soon as they load, rumblestats.com slash Steven Crowder. Still loading? All right, they're going to take a bit. He and Gerald said they knew someone was talking to you based on the article you wrote. A text message from our employees about us not being able to hang out with them would be given amnesty if we confess by two. They said whoever text messaged former employees about us not being able to hang out with them would be given amnesty if we confessed by 2 p.m. If no one confessed, then they would see it as malice. Nobody confessed, they started interrogating a few people. Literally, like, they're trying to mom them. Like, uh, if you admit to who took the, the cookies by within 10 seconds, I won't be mad. But if it goes on longer than 10 seconds, I will be mad and you'll get, I will turn this car around. Yeah, it's like, I mean, this is this is fitting, right? That that Steven Crowder would try to dad these people because he kept showing them his dick and he, you know, that's probably the kind of thing he would do to his children. Um, like this is so outside the bound of legal employer rights. Um during the meeting, Crowder downplayed his sexual misconduct allegations, said another source close to the soon to be divorced father of two. If you're not okay with guys playing sack tap, then this isn't the place for you. What? If you're not okay with the boys playing sack tap, that is the act of tapping another person's genitals, this isn't the place for you. Listen, the Crowder team only wants the best of the best. If you won't let me fondle your dick while we're working together, whenever I want to, and if you won't fondle my dick whenever, you know, you want to, and if you want to a lot, I mean, 
uh, then this isn't the place for you, okay? This is a, this is a sack tap uh, company, frankly. It, you guys ever consider the fact that Steven Crowder is actually, like, horrible rep because he's definitely gay? And, like, it seems that he just, like, serially sexually assaults his, his male employees? Not making us look good, folks. He said he was bisexual one time. Yeah, he's divorcing his wife. I'm just gonna say that, you know, the bisexuality is shifting. After the interrogation of current staffers, four employees departed the company. The NDA was insane, said one source close to Crowder. Uh, most employees were scared because of it. Some talked to lawyers about it because they were afraid, but thought if they didn't sign, that would incriminate themselves. No! Choosing not to sign an NDA does not open you up to liability. The whole point of signing an NDA is that that opens you up to liability. That's the opposite. An NDA opens you up to civil liability if you release information. Not signing it is how you avoid the liability. He was intimidating. Stevens' increasing justification of his workplace sexual behavior between men. That's classic. He, 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 you know, he, he's not living with the wifey anymore. They get a divorce. He's a little pent up, a little frustrated. He wants to tap some sex. Stevens' increasing justification of his workplace sexual behavior between men makes a lot of male employees uncomfortable. He always says it's joking, but it doesn't seem like a joke to anyone anymore. Jesus. A former Louder with Crowder employee said the NDA and bullying tactics are a clear sign that the toxic workplace culture will not be cleaned up anytime soon. The real problems never get fixed because the real studio problems revolve around Crowder's refusal to take responsibility. They said he is never, ever to blame. Gerald and Steven intimidate and bully the staff. They try to divide and conquer. They treat former employees like people who have left their cult and can no longer be trusted. And current employees are commanded to not associate with those former employees. Yep, it is cult behavior. Uh, that, is, that is definitely the case. I wish I could load this Rumble Stats page on Steven Crowder so that I could see how he's doing. They compare louder with Crowder to how scienti Scientologists aren't allowed to associate with people who've left the church. Yeah. I think it's funny that, like, making sure I'm not going to roll over him. I, I think it's funny. that Can somebody find me the stats in his rumble, rumble thing? I think it's funny that um, I'm pretty sure I remember Steven Crowder being one of the loudest, like, equal rights, equal lefts thing, where it's like, oh, well, women can do this, so why can't men do this? Se there's a discrimination. Men are the real oppressed ones, because with a woman, you look at her wrong, and you go to HR, but with a guy, you can do what... And the funny thing, he's like a serial rapist of men. Like, he's taking advantage of the, uh, the, the, the double standard, you know? Can you imagine a male employer who was running around smacking the pussy? So, that's what he's doing of, of the female employees. He wouldn't just be like, he wouldn't just be, like, sued. He'd be arrested. That's sexual assault. That's a criminal crime. That's not, that's not civil liability. That's a criminal offense. That's completely, yeah, that's, like, he should be arrested. He should be in handcuffs. Criminal crime. Yeah, well, I just want to distinguish, like, criminal from, um, you know, opening yourself up to civil liability. Conservatives looking for groomers in the right pl wrong places? Well, as we know, of course, obviously, all conservatives are groomers. Um, Shark did a segment on it. You guys want some good Shark! news? Did you see this? So apparently, is that so Stephen, uh, Stephen Crowder is, 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 is this is this the person I stole my whole career from? It is. There is this right wing blowhard. I'm not subscribed. I don't. I subscribe to like Pikmin channels, but not to like the politics people I, that I love and, and support. Named Stephen Crowder. Stephen Crowder, despicable guy. Stephen Crowder, True. who you shall be referred to as Stephen. Wait, I don't actually want to watch an entire eight minute video that I'm just going to agree with while saying true. Guys, if you aren't subscribed to Shark, I strongly suggest you do. He's excellent and I support him heavily. He's one of the uh, people I host after my streams most often. Here, here's the graph. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, Shark is phenomenal. Oh man. Are these are these daily views, weekly views? That's pretty bad. That's a decline, man. Yee. Uh Rumble Crowder. Let's just go directly to his page. Not great. I don't really know how the internal analytics work at Rumble, but my impression is that um my general assumption when looking at like other social media sites is to not trust their um, system for checking views. Twitter, for example, like the Twitter view count is meaningless. It literally means nothing. Um, it's just a number that goes up by lots. It doesn't mean anything. 
So if we take a look at YouTube and we go to Steven Crowder, we can do just a little bit of math here. Not necessarily fully indicative of anything, but we can take a look. Um, he still gets plenty of viewership on YouTube, uh, though not nearly as much as he used to. He doesn't get nothing, though. Okay, so this is a perfect comparison over here. Right here, we have a video from 27 days ago, and we have the same video, it looks like it's a live stream VOD, on YouTube. Over here on YouTube, because this is the place where the diehard Steven Crowder fans are not, currently, uh, he has about one-third dislikes to two-thirds er, two -thirds likes. He has 11, uh, uh, sorry, 110,000 views, and altogether about, uh, I guess, 8K likes slash dislikes, more or less. So 110K views to about 8K likes or dislikes. We can really simplify that and just say that it's in the ballpark of one engagement to 10 views. Just simple, 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 okay? One engagement to 10 views. Now, if we look over here, do we see the same ratio? This is 860,000 views, but only 11,000 engagements. So here, the engagement to watch ratio seems to be about one-eighth of what it is elsewise. Over here, we have about the same amount of engagements, 7.4K, uh, 7.5K, you know, the comparable amount, but half as many views. Which is interesting, right? Over here, we have more likes, but fewer views. Now, is he botting? I don't know. I don't think so. My guess would be that the system for view counting on Rumble is different and probably a bit inflated compared to what we're used to. Uh, I just tend to trust direct engagement a lot more. This is the reason why when we look at a tweet, we judge its success by its likes and tweets and replies and stuff, and not by its views, right? Like, the views can be an interesting number, but generally speaking, if we want to take a look at how tweets are doing, we take a look at their likes, not, not view ratios. Rumble is run by the Truth Social people. Um, yeah, so we know they don't exactly have a strong standard for... Uh, <laughs> Truth in, in, in advertising. He bragged about this on his Twitter page, but it doesn't seem to be true revenue. Top streamer Steven Crowder surpasses 7.5 million in subscription payments within five months. On a Rumble? Wait. To his Mug Club community since launching his show on Rumble in March 2023 with a promotion for the three-month free subscription. The full 7.5 million will not be recognized as revenue on Rumble's financial statements at the time as the... What? Wait, hold on. This is some kind of astroturf chicanery. The Mug Club thing was signed up on his website. Why would Rumble's financial statements account for the funds of the 7.5 million of... No, this... I, I, don't, I don't believe a goddamn word of this. Don't believe any of this shit. I know. I, I, I don't believe any of this crap. He probably got a decent amount of attention the other day, though, because he had... um. Alex Jones on, uh, though it's worth noting that for the feat of having Alex Jones on, he only got about twice as many likes and dislikes as he got for hottest day ever, scientist says don't worry. He's fallen off, is the thing. Actually, what does Google Trends say? Google Trends isn't really good for this sort of thing because it's possible to get a lot of Google Trends search traffic just based on people saying stuff like, Haha, ha, isn't it funny that Steven Crowder LARPed as a family guy, but in reality he was, like, horrible to his wife and wasn't even present for the birth of his twin children, and we'll probably, like, never see them except for visitation? Hey, speaking of that story of, of that stuff that came out about Steven Crowder, guess, uh, guess if you can find the date that information came out on the Google Trends chart. Jesus, that was his biggest day ever. Ugh. Alex Jones has been hanging out with Steven a lot lately. Well, that's because Alex Jones represents like the final state of online lunatic far-right content creators where you have no choice but to rely on an audience so insane and so far-right that nothing you do will sway them, you know? Um, it, it's like the final pit to land in. So it would make sense that they associate. I wouldn't be surprised if they associated constantly. But again, keep in mind, like, that's preferable. It's 
uh, Steven Crowder is a Nazi, or at least a Nazi sympathizer. He has knowingly and openly had Owen Benjamin host his show before and then defended Owen Benjamin even after clips of Owen Benjamin defending Hitler came out. Uh, it's like he, it, you know, he's a, he's a bad guy. Um, it's much better that he influenced the Alex Jones community, which is already as far gone as you can get, basically, than to influence mainstream conservatism. Yeah, he had Kanye Fuentes. Yeah, he's, yeah. Who was Owen Benjamin? I just said. It's really not looking good for his channel, though. Jesus. Alex Jones is going to have a show in the Mug Club now. Honestly, this is fine. All the people who would already be into Alex Jones, in my opinion, personally, are already with him. No, Alex Jones is not leeching off of Steven Crowder. It's the other way around. Alex Jones is much more influential than Steven Crowder is. Steven Crowder was just another conservative voice. He's sinking now to the bottom. But Alex Jones is a master at monetizing and winning the support of the kinds of people who would listen to Alex Jones. Uh, Steven Crowder's not. So, you know. Big L. Steven Crowder has nearly 6 million YouTube subs and has comparable Google trend numbers to Vosh. Is that true? That's quite flattering. If, if I have comparable numbers to him, that's a huge dub for me and an L for him. All you really need to do to know how badly things have fallen off for Crowder is that the place where he has most of his legacy subscribers, sorry about the noise, over here on YouTube, look at this. He's posted four videos in the past two weeks. Um, oh, Anna Kasparian. Oh, is she joining the Mug Club? Look, 124k views, 63k views, 73k views, even a VOD of him talking with Alex Jones, 20k views in one hour, 6 million subs. Ew. Yeah, ew. Wah. Ooh. He can see you. He can smell you through the camera.